My name is Alex King, and I'm your instructor for course two of the Product Manager Nano degree. I'm currently a product manager at Uber, where I lead rider experience for jump bikes and scooters. Previously, I spent about eight years at Google and worked on a number of different projects, mostly focused on the intersection between hardware and software experiences. Some of these products you might have heard of, like Google Wi-Fi, Google Home, and Chromecast. I also spent some time on Google X, Google Fiber, and Ads. I attended the University of Washington in Seattle, where I studied informatics with a focus on human-computer interaction. And for those of you who haven't heard of informatics before, it's a combination of computer science, business, and design. Now that you know a little bit about me, I want to welcome you to the Design Sprint course of the Product Manager Nano degree. I'm going to give you a little bit more information about what to expect. This course is for students who are interested in learning how to solve problems by uh, having a deeper understanding, ideating, and then bringing an idea through concept design and user validation. If the idea resonates, we'll also talk about how you can create a spec to hand off to your engineering team. We'll talk more about how you can use design thinking to diverge and explore ideas before we ultimately focus in and converge onto a single idea. Once you have that idea, you'll learn how to map out the full concept and create a prototype, which you then can put in front of real users to validate that you're solving a real problem. Design sprints are a powerful problem-solving tool when you're faced with difficult questions and you're not sure which direction you should go. Once you've identified a specific challenge that you need to solve, it may seem like a simple problem, but more often than not, when you start to look closer, you'll realize that there's a ton of different factors that you need to deeply understand before you'll be able to reach a solution. Design sprints can be used to solve a wide range of problems, from solving user needs through the creation of a new product, like an app to measure and track your fitness, to adding new functionality to an existing product, like the ability to sell shoes from that fitness tracking app. Design sprints aren't just for new things, though. You can also use design sprints to resolve issues with existing products. For example, why do users stop using that fitness app after one month? Or how can we solve an issue that's causing 10% of the fitness app users to contact support every single month? Now that you have a high level understanding of what a design sprint is and how it can be used to solve problems, let's walk through the learning objectives for this course. At the end of this course, you will be able to organize and run a design sprint to create a product that solves a user need. You'll learn how to create sketches and storyboards as well as build interactive prototypes. And you'll learn how to design a research plan to validate your product concept as well as identify usability issues along critical user journeys. In the process, you'll also learn about how to recruit participants and conduct usability tests following a research plan in order to get insights from your users. And then you'll take those insights and translate them into product improvements.